All right. Yep. Uh, I was like stuck or something. Go. All right. What's up, man? What are you, up to? What are you up to? Trying to unload a piece of equipment. <laughs> I only I only call you when I need your help, dude. <laughs> need a hand? Yeah, man. I mean, if you're not super busy right now. Yeah, I can come over right now. If that works for you. Yeah, dude, that works great. I'll be there. All right, cool. Thanks. Bye. Oh. We got Matt in. That is convenient. When you're a full-time YouTuber, you don't do anything all day. <laughs> That's true. What's up, dude? Yo, guys. Muscles here. What is it? Table Yep. Cool. Very cool. So I want to tell you guys a few things real quick about this guy. Now, most of you already know who this is, but if you don't, his name is Matt, and he has several YouTube channels. Very well-known, very talented guy. The whole reason that I'm on YouTube is because of him. I've known him for about five years now. And probably a little over a year ago, he showed up at my shop with his camera and shot my first video and kind of opened the door for me to start YouTube. So I'm very grateful for Matt. He's a very generous, humble guy. You would never know um, that he is a famous YouTuber. Uh, he's always there to help out whenever I call him. So I just wanted to give him a little praise and a shout out and just say thanks, Matt, for all the help. Yeah, good enough for now. Cool. Awesome, dude. You all sweaty now. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it, dude. Y'all have a good one. All right, later, Matt. So this little piece of technology here is super, super cool. Most of you probably already know what this is, but this is a brake cartridge that comes with saw stop table saws. Now, what this does is this allows your table saw to immediately stop and drop below the table if your hand comes in contact with the blade, essentially making it impossible to cut yourself or cut a finger off. Now this is a big deal and I'm really excited to now have one of these in my shop. I reached out to SawStop um, because I've always wanted one of their table saws. Table saws. I've always wanted their table saws. They offered to give me a discount on one um, in exchange for me to do a video on it, which I was completely okay with because I love their saws and the technology in them. It's an extremely well-built machine. I've cut joinery on it. I've done rough milling on it. I've cross cut on it. It does everything perfectly. It runs the dado blades. I bought the three horsepower industrial saw. So they have three models. I, I'm pretty sure it's three models. They have the industrial, the professional, and then their contractor saws. So really the professionally industrial are the two main woodworking cabinet saws. Professional is more in line for a hobbyist and then the industrial is more designed for uh, the, the um, professional shop like mine where you're turning it on using it every day. It's a little bit Bigger tabletop, heavier, beefier base, uh, just some more solid components to it. So real quick, I just want to give you a real quick overview of the saw. I don't want to take too much time doing this. Let's get my exposure set here. I got my saw with the extension here. It has a, it goes to three feet. Fence works really nice. Locks down, super solid. Can't move that. No complaints with that. The adjustments on it. Are really easy and, and well thought out no problem the raising and lowering of the blade very very easy I mean I can literally do this with two fingers no problem it's very common for table saws to struggle here especially after they've been used but I have been using this for three months and done a little cleaning on it and it still cranks effortlessly same thing with the 45 over here So let's open it up real quick and see what is inside. It comes with the wrenches, a couple really nice wrenches. You got an on and off switch on the industrial here that you can lock. It's great for me because I have kids running around in here. Three horsepower motor, dust collection there, which is really nice. I'll show you more detail up in the top of how that works. This saw is a lot like a, like, foreign or Japanese car. I mean, they just shove, like the inside of it is packed full of components and parts, but they, they're really well designed and thought out in how you use them. Before I open this up, this is a really cool part of this saw too. A very well thought out uh, insert here. It's very easy to pop out. You got four adjustments, so it's really easy to get it level with the table.
Also has a really nice uh, blade guard. Comes with that and the riving knife as well. See a little lever right there. Pop that up. Pop it out. <clears throat> Man, I got something in my throat. <coughs> blade guard goes in. I'm trying to do all this with one hand. Insert. With the blade guard in, I found that um, the dust collection works a lot better. And especially, they also sell an accessory that you can hook right up here with an arm um, that would essentially take all the dust off the saw. Uh, but a lot of times I leave the blade guard off. It's just kind of a natural habit and the way I've developed to use it. But always have a riving knife on your table saw. Never want to use a table saw without a riving knife. So that pops out really easy super convenient so I can see you can see this red latch I'm kind of popping out that's your brake cartridge it slides out really easily now you have to switch these out when you're going from dado to regular blade but that's you know it's a small price to pay for a tickle saw that won't cut your finger off this is not easy to do holding a camera oh my god done it like 50 times too pin slides in locks it in place you're set to go so one thing that i've come to find out is that uh in a shop like mine where i'm using i've got i don't know five six different table saw blades up there um and as you sharpen those blades they they get smaller in diameter so if you're comparing a blade that's been sharpened 10 or 12 times to a blade that is almost brand new that the chain the difference in diameter requires that you adjust the break because it's really important that the brake be the right distance from the saw blade in order for the mechanism to work properly. And that being said, if it is too far away from the blade, the table saw knows it and won't, doesn't let you use it. So that's a very cool feature. But it also, for someone like me, it can be a little bit annoying because you have to adjust the brake pretty often when you're changing out blades. But, you know, again, small price to pay uh, to keep all your fingers. So you also get... A, Pretty nice little miter gauge. I've used this a few times. Works pretty well. No real complaints with it. Handy little storage right there. Lock that down. Um, this is really the cool part of the saw. You've got, uh, this is kind of the computer here. You've got two lights. So when I touch the blade up here, you can see that red light starts blinking. I've got my hand off the blade. It stops blinking. Hand back on the blade. Sorry. So then that means the saw is sensing my um, electrical current, it means it's working properly. To turn it on, you just, it runs really quiet, super smooth. It's got a nice paddle here that I can hit with my leg if, if I need to turn it off real quickly. In fact, I've often hit it by accident, so you kind of have to figure out the right position on the saw to not accidentally trigger that paddle. So you, it gives you the handy little chart here that tells you what's going on with the saw. You get you know different codes and blinking lights here. If the blade's too far from the brake, it'll tell you by here. If uh, you've got the, you can actually bypass um, the brake and not use it. And you would want to do that if you were cutting like really green wood or even hit. I've hit metal with this and it didn't set it off surprisingly. But <clears throat> I, I try to bypass it if I know I'm cutting through. Uh, reclaim wood that has uh, nails and stuff like that. But if you were cutting really green, wet wood, I would you you have to bypass it because the the uh, the moisture in the wood will will set the blade off. As always, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Go get yourself a saw stop. If anything, just head over to their YouTube channel, watch this thing in action. It's pretty entertaining and cool to see how it actually shuts off uh, when you touch your finger to it. I don't think they actually do the use their finger. I think they use a hot dog, but it's close to the same thing. As usual, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you next time.